One of the most common ways people fall into the anxiety cycle is by smoking weed or taking any sort of drug and that leads to a panic attack. Now, after that panic attack, they start feeling dissociated. They start feeling like nothing's real. They start getting um, depersonalization. They may start getting physical symptoms. Now, they may be thinking, oh my God, I think I messed up my brain chemicals or something really bad. And like, what happens if this never goes away? Well, in this video, I'm gonna share with you really how to make it go away long term and what's really happening. So let's get it started. So one of the most common ways I see people fall into the cycle is literally by smoking weed. Sometimes they didn't want to do it. It's not something they do do. Maybe it is something they've been doing for a while, but all of a sudden they get this really uncomfortable feeling. They feel like they're about to lose control. They feel like they're, um, something bad's going to happen. They feel like they're going to die or something. And what that does is that it creates more panic. Or maybe they're just like, I just want this high to stop. And so what they try to do is they try to escape it. They run away, they run away, they run away. They do something to make it not feel something. And then what ends up happening? The body ends up having a panic attack. Oftentimes, this is one of the first times people even have a panic attack. They don't even know what they're experiencing as a panic attack. So then what do they do? Well, they just try to forget about it and then hopefully tomorrow it's gone and then they wake up the next day and it's still there. And they're thinking, oh no, what if I messed up something? What if this is me forever? Well, what's really happening? Well, here's what happened, right? Uh, when people are experiencing panic attacks, panic attacks in itself can be traumatic and it doesn't have to happen from smoking weed or taking any drug. It can literally happen. I had a panic attack at work for no reason at all. And literally I was just like on my break and I just had a, had a panic attack, nothing. So panic attacks can happen regardless. But what happens is, is that when people are on high or they're under the influence of some sort, it may feel like they want to stop a feeling or they may be a little bit more hyper aware of a certain feeling. And so what that does is that that leads to a panic attack. Now, after that panic attack, what that often leads to is another panic attack because, well, once you have one panic attack, you're often gonna have another one, not for any bad reason besides the fact that you become fearful of a panic attack. When you experience a panic attack, you realize you do not wanna feel like that. Again, it's really intense, it's very debilitating. But if you don't know how to stop one or how to make one go away, well then, you know, it'll come back because you're still running away from something, even if that's a feeling of a panic attack. Now what happens is people start feeling more panic attacks and now their nervous system becomes sensitized. Now they start feeling derealization, depersonalization. Derealization is like this feeling like nothing's real. And you start feeling like, am I real? You start looking at your hands, you're like, is this, is, this, <laughs> is this light real? Is this camera real? What is reality? What's the purpose of this? How do I know? You know, that leads to existential anxiety. And then there's depersonalization, where it literally feels like you're out of body. It almost feels like this little Superman thing where you're literally disconnected from your body. If you don't know what's happening, it's absolutely terrifying. If you don't want it to happen, it's even more scary, right? Because you can't stop it. Because it's a, it's a, it's a stress response. It's a stress response. And so what happens is that this happens after the drug is flushed out of the system. And so they're like, why is this still happening? So the natural thought process is, oh, well, it's here because there's something wrong with my brain or whatever. None of that's true. What happened was is that you fell into the cycle. You tripped and you fell into the cycle. Now the trigger was weed or any sort of illicit drug, but now you have a new problem. That problem, is gone because it's out of your system, it's fine. There's no long-term consequences to that. Not, not doing it once, this is not. Um, but the, the issue of anxiety now, or this depersonalization, derealization is now your new problem. So how do you really get out of it? Well, one of the most important things is to understand what's really happening. What's genuinely happening, what's wrong? Why are you feeling like this? For that, you have to understand a few mechanics. And it's very simple, yeah? Most people complicate it. You don't have to complicate it. It's really straightforward. Um, I have a book down below, it's free. Um, it really breaks down how this stuff happens and how to get out of it. Um, 
it doesn't have to be weed, like I say, or it doesn't have to be drugs. It can be anything. And so this will really help you understand what's happening. Recognize whatever caused the trigger to a certain degree now, it doesn't matter. Your focus now should be now and getting out. And so, you know, this is happening more often too. I want you to understand. This isn't something that um, um, has, you know, what's happened is now like you know in the u.s too it's uh being legalized a lot more and so there's more um intense strains and so because it's more intense strains it can it can really throw somebody off and give them a panic attack again this isn't really a problem with the weed as much as it is a problem with people just don't understand this stuff and if they understood this before well then they wouldn't fall into the cycle but once you focus on overcoming this you can go back to living and this does not have to be a problem again. I see people all the time who fell in from weed saying, I'm never going to do it again, or getting better, and then they go back to doing it. It doesn't really matter. Whatever your choice is, that this video is not about anything like that. But the thing is, is that this video is showing you that you can get out of this. You really can. You just have to understand a few principles, focus on long-term freedom. And, um, you know, it's not going to be an overnight thing, but it doesn't matter. The main thing is that this is harmless. All that's happened is your defense mechanisms are working against you right now. That's all. You just got to show it that, hey, we're on the same team. Okay? So if you really want to know more, if you want to focus on how to overcome this, um, like I said, there's a book down below. I will show you step by step, and I hope this helps. Okay? I'll see you in the next one.